great fear. The fear of flying is a very tangible condition for many who suffer in silence, but there is some help. There's a book out called Soar, the Breakthrough Treatment of Fear of Flying. Its author, a retired airline captain who's on a mission to help passengers relax and simply enjoy the ride. Joining us now is the author, Captain Tom Bunn, and Samson Frankel, a fear of flying client who had trouble flying for some 20 years. Well, you're both sitting very calmly here. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. <laughs> Captain Tom, why did you write the book? Well, there was a course at Pan Am, started back in 1975 by another pilot. It was at that time a breakthrough just because it was completely new to try to help people. But it didn't help people with the more difficult problems. And when I began to take over that work, I found there's more of a psychological component than we seem to recognize. So I ended up getting licensed as a therapist in grad school and so on. And now have worked out a way to make the control automatic so that when a person gets on the plane who has had trouble, they fly just like everybody else. Well, let's talk to Samson here about his fear. When did yours start? I think it was pretty much through my entire life. I avoided family vacations. Uh, I avoided spending a junior year abroad. Um, so I really would avoid an airport and an airplane at all costs. And what was the point of your fear? What made you afraid? I think it's a loss of control. Uh, just the unknown, you're hurtling through space at you know, 30,000 feet. You hear all these strange noises. You feel the plane going up and down. And you're really not sitting there in the cockpit, so you really don't know what to expect. And just sitting in the back of the plane, it's just a very unnerving experience. Now let's get back to Tom here. So we hear his fears. What do you tell somebody like that? Well, there are some people who just find that they're so secure in the world that when they get some stress hormones released by an unexpected noise or motion. They look around, they say, I don't know what it was, forget it. But people who don't have that level of securities, they want to know, am I absolutely safe? Well, flying is remarkably safe, but it's not absolute. So if you don't have absolute safety, you want to be in control. Up, oh, can't do that on the airplane, unless you're in the cockpit. The next thing is, let me get out of here. 30,000 feet, that's not going Can't to work either. Can't do that either. So all the ways that people try to consciously regulate their feelings, not going to work on a plane. So what we do is we go back to the beginning. The stress hormones that trigger this whole process, we stop them before they start. Mm -hmm. And Samson, what did it for you? How did you overcome the fear? Well, I think Tom brings a very unique background that not only he's a psychologist, but he's a former pilot. And the great thing is you can really consult him before you're about to get on a flight anywhere, and he will tell you what to expect and when to expect it. So, for example, you're coming out of LaGuardia because of noise abatement restrictions, the planes throttle back on the engine. Most people think they're falling out of the sky, but when Captain Tom tells you, okay, the second you come out of LaGuardia, the plane's going to scale back, you know what to expect, and that really eases your fears. So what do you do now when you get on an airplane? Well, before I get on the airplane, I call him and I say, I'm taking, you know, this I flight. I think you get a lot of phone calls. <laughs> he does. And he's always great about picking up the phone. And really, he tells you, okay, when you come out of the, this runway, you're going to take a sharp right. And that's just knowing what to expect really puts you at ease. And in terms of the, the thousands and thousands of people out there who have a fear of flying, you're saying that the same therapy techniques that work on the ground don't work in no. the air. So then cognitive, what's the difference? Cognitive behavioral therapy requires you to have some cognition going. And when the stress hormones kick in, cognition goes out the window. So what we had to do is find a way to automatically regulate feelings so that even if you're not thinking clearly, you still maintain control. Okay, so rule number one, just one tip before we go. If you're afraid of flying, what can you do? Well, if there's one thing that you can do, I would say get on the airplane early and ask a flight attendant to go up to the cockpit and say, can I come and visit? Because if you can talk to the people who are going to fly the plane, and you can do that on the ground. Oh, that may that be a little a more difficult difference. these days. No, though. no, you can do that if, as, as long as it's on the ground before you leave the terminal. Mm -hmm. The passengers can go up to the cockpit and well, talk to the that's pilots. That's a good idea. Thank yes. you so much, Thank and you. safe travels. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.